Moles in stoichiometry. Mole ratios. Objectives. Calculate the moles of reactants needed or products produced using a balanced chemical equation. Stoichiometry and mole ratio. Stoichiometry explores the relationship between two or more substances in a chemical reaction. Stoichiometry is based on the law of conservation of mass. For example, we have one mole of A reacting with two moles of B to produce one mole of AB. This is a balanced chemical equation. We have one mole of A, two moles of B reacting to produce one mole of AB2. Now suppose we have two moles of A. How many moles of B would be required to completely react with that two moles of A? In the first equation, we can see two moles of B is required for every single mole of A. Therefore, we would need not just two, but four moles of B to react with two moles of A. Thereby, we will also produce not one, but two moles of AB2. This is stoichiometry. It's a mole ratios. How many moles of A would be needed to react with how many moles of B to produce how many moles of the product AB2? We can use mole ratios to help us solve problems based on stoichiometry. The coefficients in a chemical reaction indicate the relationship between the moles of reactants and products. We can use this relationship to derive conversion fact factors called mole ratios. A mole ratio is a conversion factor that relates the amounts in moles to any two substances in a balanced chemical equation. For example, if you're given this chemical equation, C5H10 plus O2 gives us CO2 plus H2O. A balanced chemical equation shows how many moles of C5H10 will react with how many moles of CO2, of O2 rather, to produce CO2 and H2O. We can find mole ratios. However, in this video, I'm going to show you an alternative example to solve these questions. We can create relationships between any two factors. For example, two moles of C2H10 will, rea will react and produce 10 moles of H2O. Similarly, two moles of C2H10 will produce 10 moles of CO2. Or two moles of C2H10 will need 15 moles of O2 to react. This is a simple equation that explains how many moles of a reactant will react to produce how many moles of product. We can use this relationship to solve any mole ratio problem. For example, if we're given the balanced chemical equation below, how many moles of H2O will be produced when 8 moles of C5H10 completely reacts with excess oxygen? In the equation, 2 moles of C5H10 produces or requires 15 moles of O2. And it will produce 10 moles of CO2 and 10 moles of H2O. In a question like this, we need to figure out exactly what we are given and what we are required to obtain. Here, we are required to obtain H2O. How many moles of H2O will be produced when 8 moles of C5H10 is produced? So now we can use our two uh, coefficients from the equation. 2 moles of C5H10 will produce 10 moles of H2O. Therefore, 8 moles of C5H10 will produce how many moles of H2O? Here we have a simple proportionality. We cross multiply. X goes over multiply 2, which gives us 2X, which is equal to 8 goes up and multiply 10 moles of H2O. Here we have 2X is, 80, is equal to 80 moles of H2O. X is equal to 80 moles of H2O divided by 2. And we have 2 moles of C5H10 will produce 40 moles of H2O. Practice question 1. Given the balance equation below, 2 c 286 reacts with 7O2 to produce 4CO2 plus 6H2O. Determine the total number of moles of oxygen that will react completely with 5 moles of C286. 
In this question, we ask about the relationship between oxygen and C2H6. Between oxygen and C2H6. Now here we can set up our proportionality. We have two moles of C2H6 requiring seven moles of O2. How many moles of, C of O2 would be produced when five moles of C2H6 is reacted completely? We cross multiply, we take over the x to multiply with a 2 and we take over the 5 to multiply with a 7. We have the setup 2x is equal to 5 multiplied by 7 moles of O2. 2x is equal to 35, x is equal to 35 divided by 2, x is equal to 17.5. When 5 moles of C286 is completely reacted, it will need 17.5 moles of O2.